space has fascinated humanity for years. Ancient civilizations tried to make sense of the cosmos, and in many ways they succeeded. Human history and prehistory is filled with an endless amount of mysteries that can keep humanity puzzling over its true origins for eons to come. One of the ways we find ourselves attempting to understand these gaps in time, as well as the facts of our origins and developments has been through the recovery of old artefacts, relics, buried sites and long forgotten written accounts. It's through these discoveries that have allowed us in the modern age to catch a glimpse as to what our ancestors may have been doing, and why they were doing it. However, some discoveries are so strange that it's left even the top researchers in the fields questioning their findings. Apollo 17 was the last human expedition to the moon, and during this mission the crew made a variety of interesting discoveries, including finding the oldest known lunar rock, and also obtaining orange soil which contained volcanic glass. However, another discovery was accidentally made on the moon which has confused researchers for years. This photograph is from the official NASA archives of Apollo 17, and can still be found on their website. When it was first published it was listed as blank, but when viewers looked closer they were convinced that in the background there was a mysterious structure. Those who altered the photograph's brightness and contrast said the object in question looks like a pyramid, and this led to a variety of theories to be put forward, one of which was that NASA had found this structure on the moon and tried to hide it in one of their images. Those who have seen the photograph has questioned why NASA would list it as blank, especially because something can clearly be seen in the background. However, not everyone is entirely convinced that there's pyramids on the moon, and some have suggested that what we're looking at is a low-quality photograph snapped by one of the astronauts. Due to the image's position and lighting, this image is taken on the appearance of a pyramid. This isn't the only interesting discovery that's been made on the moon. Our moon features a gigantic crater. This hole has been on our moon for billions of years, since an unknown object hit the dark side of the moon. We have measured this crater to reach 1,550 miles in width, and 8 miles in depth, and so have dubbed it one of the largest craters within our solar system. The presumed explanation for decades was simply that this crater was formed when contact was made between the moon and a meteor. If this had been the case then there would be pieces from the outside of the moon on the surface, possibly available to examine. Some new insight was provided in January 2019, when the U-2 rover was sent to the moon from China. When it reached the bottom of this mysterious crater, minute traces of minerals were recorded by U-2, which appeared to have come from within the moon's mantle. In a turn of events, new data came to light within August 2019, from a study published within Geophysical Research Letters. After an analysis was conducted upon the materials found at the bottom of the peculiar crater, it revealed evidence suggesting that the crater was composed entirely of crust, with no mantle. The crust is the outer layer surface of the moon, with the mantle coming just beneath it. This would imply that an object collided with the moon with enough force to open a colossal crater, but not enough force to release any of the mantle onto the surface of the moon. Co-author of the study Hao Zhang, planetary scientist working at the China University of Geosciences, explained how the team had anticipated finding the mantle materials at this landing site. He goes on to explain that the lack of mantle organisms rules out the possibility that a meteor travelling with a high velocity had caused this crater, eliminating an assumption we've been acting upon for decades. This study employed the use of spectroscopy, in order to clarify and identify the minerals that have been found within the lunar soil. This process observes how each grain is reflected within both visible and near-infrared. This study was carried out using the equipment U2 was already armed with, performing these reflection tests on six different areas of soil, ranging up to approximately 175 feet away from the landing site. An already established database allowed each mineral to be identified based upon size, 
reflectance and degradation, which often occurs as a result of solar wind. Within every sample, it was evident that the primary mineral in the moon's surface is plagioclase. We know this is common in the cross of Earth and the moon, but that isn't likely to be found within the mantle. This mineral composition supports the meteor theory, but then the unanswered question remains as to what created this crater. If it was a meteor, then why aren't there chunks of mantle over the surface? The natural satellite orbiting planet Earth might be little more than a pretty object to look at in the night sky, while others may track the moon's phases compulsively. Whilst we often aim to explore as far out in the universe as we possibly can, there's still so much we've yet to explore closer to home. From the first moon landing in 1969, to the most recent findings, there's still plenty we're uncovering about our moon. So what do you make of these interesting discoveries? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.